What's up you guys, Steve is back again with another video and today I have to share some news with all of you today. This is potentially exciting news and also just maybe sad news for some of you, but this is some news that's gonna change the way and shift up the way players interact in arena for a long time unless these changes get reverted. This is probably some of the craziest, you know, one of the craziest hotfixes we've ever had mid-expansion. I can't remember a time in recent expansions that a hotfix like this came out that would really shift up the way the meta is played, especially mid-tournament season. Really quickly, for those of you who watched my last video, it got demonetized, I don't know why, but I have been really sick and that's why I'm not able to post as much, but you can always catch me on my stream if you're wondering where I'm at or why I'm not posting videos if you care that much. My stream's over here and Friday's my birthday, so come say what's up and keep me some company because company is always nice. Now, as you can see on the screen here, don't freak out. I'm going to cover everything. There are some pretty intense arena changes for healers specifically, which also reflects how it's going to affect uh, just the meta in terms of what comps you can play and what other DPS are going to be viable in the arena because of how viable certain healers are. It's going to change up quite a bit, but most certainly it's going to speed up games. I'm going to read through these changes first, and then I'm going to give you some backstory on why these changes are taking place in the first place. If you're not familiar with what's going on in arena, or maybe you just don't understand why these changes are happening, you're not up to speed, I'm gonna cover that uh, in this video. So first let's read through them and then we'll discuss them at the end. So first we have them talking about that they want to have mana feel like a more critical resource in arena or in PVP in general. And we want people to be more mana efficient. We want that aspect to be part of PVP like it was in previous expansions a long time ago in vanilla WoW. If you played vanilla recently on like some weird private server or you're planning to play classic, mana is like everything in vanilla WoW. And then in Burning Crusade, it was really important because of things like mana burn. And then as you know, expansion went on, each expansion went on, mana became less and less important. And now it's just kind of, you just spam your spells out. Obviously good players are gonna conserve their mana better than others, but in general, mana is not the biggest thing in the world. Uh, at the beginning of Bas Battle for Azeroth, mana regeneration was nerfed across the board on all healers, anywhere from 15 to 30% depending on the class. This is true. And after reviewing the current state of the game, most certainly after reviewing the most recent arena tournament, and the amount of damping it went to, uh, they feel like further reductions are necessary on both healer and hybrid specs. And ironically, this was something that I talked to Halinka about this past BlizzCon. He had talked about how the team thought that mana regeneration was too much of an issue this time out, this expansion, and healers were too mana efficient and there wasn't that much thought process when spending mana as a healer. So this does kind of reflect that. If you missed the tournament, uh, Wrestle Druids recently got a buff. I'll show the I'll show the buff somewhere here on the screen just the other week. And because of this and a lot of other you know uh, variables involved, we were in a caster meta. Wrestle Druids got a buff. Healers across the board are very strong, but specifically Wrestle Druids are very good in dampening. And because of the buffs that we saw and all the gear that we saw in the tournament realm and all the trinkets that are coming out and eye level going up so high, we entered in a very dampening meta. And this isn't the first time this has happened. Uh, it's happened in previous expansions. I remember this kind of happening in Legion. And the meta always shifts from melee heavy to caster heavy to dampening. And when that happens, it becomes a dampening meta. And then we go to the melee meta. It, it, it shifts all the time. And it's not something that just is we haven't seen before. Um, and with this, and because of these changes, Rust or Druids, mana regeneration was nerfed by 55%, 55% PVP. Holy Priest, Holy Paladin, and Rust or Shaman, Missing from Monk mana was you know nerfed by 50% in PVP. Discipline Priest mana was nerfed by 45% in PVP. Bless the little heart. You always love to see a Discipline Priest out there. And then Balanced Druid, Feral Druid, and Elemental Shaman mana regeneration was nerfed by 35%. Now the latter, uh, being the hybrid specs being nerfed by 35%. That's to address healing. That's not to address just conserving your mana. It's to address healing because you don't see Shadow Priests on there and that's because Shadow Priests spend a lot of mana on Master Spell. And if you nerfed Shadow Priest mana regeneration, then you change the way that they can even use Master Spell and then they can never even use their powered shield, I'm sure, again for a long time throughout the match because they spent so much mana on Master Spell and the regen has been nerfed. Uh, now, the ironic part about that is, is this does still affect other classes and other healers because you can't use Purge as much anymore, you won't be able to use Cyclone as much anymore, and you won't be able to use some of your other spells that are aggressive anymore because you want to conserve your mana. And we'll get to that topic in a few seconds here because Sidu also spoke about that, and I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, we also see further nerfs to Wrestle Druid's mana regeneration, increasing the cost of Nourish by 30%. This is, you know, I mean, 
55% man regeneration is uh, the key point here. You know, nerfing ner nerfing nourish is it's it's okay, it's whatever. Also, we have assassination rogues uh, getting nerfed on neurotoxin, and this was to address the bug that we saw in the arena tournament. Some players weren't aware of this. I was informed by a few other people, and then also neurotoxin was really effective because there were so many casters, and I expect to see less and less caster cleaves. Um, in the next coming weeks or so and maybe even in the tournament and i expect to see more melee cleaves because you're on a timer now due to this mana and you can't really go out into dampening as much especially since all these healers were nerfed and hybrid classes were nerfed we're not going to see as many of them i'm sure so let's talk about this really quickly now in 2v2s we also saw something very similar where games would take forever and healers were too strong so what did, what did they do they implemented dampening at 20 percent the start of the match now people this is for 2v2 right we saw dampening just right out the gate 20 percent. this was a change that happened in legion players were suggesting this for 3v3s this time out because it was just going way too long and games are already going to 50 to 60 percent dampening sometimes in the tournament bracket it doesn't always happen you know it doesn't always happen uh in on like ladder but you definitely see it um in the tournament realm but because of this they wanted to say well people were saying why don't you just implement dampening right off the gate or like start it sooner because games are already going into dampening every time and it, they rarely end sooner than that so just implement it and uh, that would be a pretty good fix. It's a band-aid, just like this fix is a band-aid. It's not a correction to how the game is played, but that just takes way too long. And for something like that to happen right now, it would just take so many patches in a row. And this is what they're always trying to do. So if you want to fix something soon and change the way the game feels, you have to do these big changes, like these band-aid changes, like dampening or mana regeneration. Now, another change I thought about in my car, I was going to make a video about this, was just nerf mana regeneration. Because by nerfing mana, you're just speeding up the pace of the game because games are going to end faster or he as healers aren't going to be able to heal as effectively. Now, my point here is, and what Sidu talked about, in fact, I'll roll his clip right now. Oh, to be fair, chat, to be fair, if there was actual changes behind the mana changes, these would be good changes. Does that make sense? Like, if you saw all this and then you saw Holy Priests are buff, Resto Shamans are buff, Disc Priests are buff, Druids are nerfed a little bit, you know, and all these classes that actually need changes... These aren't bad changes. These are not bad changes if they're backed by actual changes. You know what I mean? This will affect the pace of the game, but there's nothing affecting the balance of the game. Does that does that make sense right now? So, pace of the game changed. Balance of the game left unchanged and uh that's um that's the biggest problem right now. That's the biggest problem I have with these changes. These changes might actually be perfect if Resto Druids and all the other healers got balanced and other DPS got balanced, but Nothing. So yes, Cedar's 100% right. Blizzard needs to come out and correct some of the issues that might be an after effect of this blanket mana nerf. We don't know how this is going to affect classes like shamans or priests if purge is not even worth using anymore because it costs too much mana. So obviously Blizzard wants you to not be able to spam purge out. Otherwise, there's a consequence for that and you oom really fast unless that's the play style that you're going for, which is something that we saw in Legion with Electrocute. Shamans would oom instantly, but they would just spam purge. So it's a little similar there, but I get his point. Cyclone, for example, if it's not worth using, then it just encourages different types of play style and that might not be as fun if you can't use your overall toolkit unless you're going for a setup based uh, and a setup based attack and you're playing like an RMD and you need that cyclone to close up the chain, you're trying to win early. So I get where he's coming from 100%. We need to see other changes following this, but ultimately we don't know if Resto Druid is going to be the best healer after this nerf. Uh, we don't know. Maybe Mistweaver Monk is going to be a very strong healer because double melee cleaves are more prevalent and Mistweaver Monks are good with double melee cleaves and they can add extra pressure with Way of the Crane, even though that does cost 10% of your mana. It might oom the other healer faster and that might be a strategy. And if Resto Druid still is the best healer, then nothing has really changed like he said, but the pace of the game, which I think is somewhat fair to the tournament players if you were already expecting Resto Druids to be the best because he is competing the day that you're watching this video. And if you made a bunch of other changes on top of these mana nerfs, then maybe that is unfair. So I think this is a, a middle of the ground solution, but I do want to see more changes following this. But ultimately, and what I want to get across is that I think this is good for the pace of the game because players just don't want to sit there and beat on something like it's a raid boss and nothing dies. Rusher Druids don't oom. They don't even have to cast. That's just an awful, it's just boring, you know, man. For everyone involved, it's boring and not fun for the viewers watching the tournament. So he is right, but I think that this ultimate change to mana uh, is going to be good for the pace of the game. And I do want to see additional changes following this. 
to correct some of the issues that may be a result of this mana nerf. So once again, these are pretty crazy changes. These are going to affect the way you play the game, the way you use your abilities. You're going to have to relearn a ton of things, but I think that's also a little exciting. But it's also going to speed up the pace of the game, and that's what I want. I don't want slow, dampened games. As a healer main, I don't want that. I mean, it's just... I want games to end fast. I want people to have to react. I feel like in a dampener meta, I mean, it's just, it's all about getting drinks and like you can even mess up on some CDs, but people are so tanky and heals are so strong and you never oom that you can make mistakes and come back from them. And I want games to be fast paced where you have to think decisively and really react using your CDs uh, at the right time. Whereas in caster metas, it's just, you can make a ton of mistakes and they don't really matter until you reach dampening. And I think that's not fun to watch as a person who loves watching arena and as somebody who you know plays and plays the game regularly. I don't think it's fun for anybody. So, you know, to see these points, I want them to address now after this, you know, following this tournament that we're going to have here this week, I want to see more healer changes to try and address some of the little mistakes or uh, holes that they might have missed with this blanket mana nerf. But I think for the general player base, this is exciting stuff. In my opinion, I want games to be faster and I'm glad that they're at least realizing this. And then down the road, I don't want any more band-aid fixes. I don't want any more just blanket nerfs. I want them to design the game. Please, Blizzard, design the game to where it feels fluid and solid and games don't get too dampened based on gear and mana regen and healers are not too strong. Healers, in my opinion, can't be too strong because when they're too strong, it just makes the game boring for everyone, even though I main a healer. But those are just my thoughts. And if you disagree, you can politely let me know kindly. Show me your edumacation in the comment section below and let me know what you think they could do to correct this issue. Or if you do like these changes, you can let me know all of that in the comment section below. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Try to miss me on my Twitch live stream where I answer all of your guys' questions in depth. Do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.